Here is a little demo about key switches. So in Logic at the moment, I have the key switches off and I've got my octave, I'm on a 61 key controller. So I've got it down by one octave. So my top C is this and my low C is that. Now, ordinarily the notes between here and I think here would not play. I'm going to re-enable these controllers now, the key switches. And then when we get to, oh, my D does not work. Why doesn't it work? Because from low C, where I showed you before, to second or first octave, well, second octave D, because I'm down an octave, if you will, is silent. And these are all key switches. Now, the preset I'm currently using is called Mississippi Joint, and it's from the Studio Horns seven piece section. It's the first thing in that list. So what do key switches actually do? Well, they do a number of things and I can't tell you what they all do because I'm not sure of the sounds of them. But when you load a preset in most cases, and in, this goes for many an instrument, the lowest note on the keyboard, well, of a 61 down an octave, usually the C, key switches seem to start at C for some reason, it tends to be the sound that you get when you load the preset. And I think it's true in this case too. So I've changed to the C sharp and we'll see if there is any difference in the sound when I play the keys. Let's try D. So it's a fade and E flat. Slightly different or maybe it's the same and I'm just thinking it is. Maybe it uses all white keys for these key switches. It's very possible. That's E, F, F sharp. Nothing. So it must be all white keys in this case. Some of them are momentary key switches as well, which I'll talk about in a minute. A, B, C, uh, D, and that's a momentary. So when I let go, it stops doing that. And we got to the first E. So some of these key switches are not momentary and some are. Now let me work out where the... Okay, so from... C to F are latched key switches, which means that you don't have to hold them down. And G to D are momentary key switches, as far as I can tell. So if I put this on, for example, um, the F, sorry, the E, that will do. So I can now play things like. And we get that kind of a sound. Now I'll, put, I'll play the C again, and I'll play the same. And it will just do that indefinitely. So the further you go up the key switch list, the different the sound will be. Now let's talk about these momentary key switches from G to D. If I hold a, a chord down and then play G, let's see what happens. It's, it scoots, uh, scoops down. You can also hold down the key switch and then play the chord. The A is a faster scoop. The B is a faster scoop. C is an upward scoop, and so is D. Oh no, D is a trill. And as soon as I let go of that key, it reverts back to the C, which was my choice of key switch. If I have my key switch set to F though, and try and do the D thing and let go, then it automatically goes to F. So that's a little bit about key switches and I've got TV on in the background. But anyway, I hope that that helps a little bit to explain why you might want to use them. They can be quite fun. For example, like this. <laughs>